May 10th, 1944 was a day that will always be a pretty important day in my life. It started out just much as many other missions did. We get in our airplanes, we were headed for a target between Wiener Neustadt and Vienna, Austria. As we headed for the target, I wanted to get one more look ahead before I got down on the bomb site. I went to the doctor for my annual checkup. He said, your blood tests reveal that you have multiple myeloma. And when I went in to tell my husband, it was devastating because he was destroyed because when we started looking things up on the internet, um, multiple myeloma, uh, the prognosis was that I had three to five years to live. Yogi Berra once said, it's very difficult to predict things, especially the future. The best thing Aspen can offer the world is a lesson for other communities. It never occurred to me that somebody would want a 20,000 square foot house or a 50,000. It's just inconceivable in those days. Aspen has paid a certain price for its vanity. Other communities have got to realize this may happen to them in the West as well. We see the writing on the wall. We realize that the, the floodgate is pushed with water and that at any moment it could break. I think the question we're all grappling with is can we still make the dream of living in a small town in a beautiful place in the mountains a reality? Und ich sehe mich da noch vor dem kleinen Spiegel stehen und ihm sagen, wenn ich jetzt schwanger wäre, Denkst du, das könnte irgendwas schaden? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. It was a chance for me to come and be exposed to new things. I mean, I've never been anywhere, so I, I had to take the chance. I was, you know, on the edge, and uh, coming to this program really opened a lot of doors for me. It, it opened up my eyes, it allowed me to trust, and when I went back home, I was able to apply, you know, the things that I learned here into, you know, my everyday, my everyday life. First time in Colorado was amazing. Um, I've never been, like, I've never been in the mountains, so, like, for me to see it, it was just beautiful. All my life, I, I've, I love landscapes, so um, I just thought it was, it was just a knockout, the views flying in. I was also very scared because of my first time flying. Elk and the Bugle. It's a time of magic in the mountains. If there's a better place to be than Colorado come September, I've never discovered it. I think one of the hardest decisions that my husband ever made was the fact that we can no longer ranch here. It's gone. Our ranch is gone. I couldn't run them up there because of the contamination and all the problems that existed. 30 years from now, when my grandkids are somewhere close to my age, and we're standing at this very spot, can I answer the question, how could you let that happen? And if I can dis defend myself and say, if you look around, it's better. Our historical way of making a living is no longer available. Oh, it was almost enough to, to make a grown man cry when I sold the mother herd. One day, Lynn came in and he said, my people came into this valley. They left where they were to find something better. 
He says, that's what we're going to do. And, you know, I hope that I will find something that would be better for my son and, and his children and their children. And I'll leave them that little piece of the West that's left.